sharing work on eliciting tech futures among black young adults, a collaborative research project with Dr. Tuana Dillahunt at the University of Michigan. This project engaged young adults in a series of remote speculative co-design workshops. This is a part of a larger effort to explore how co-design might support the learning of design and digital skills for tech readiness among Black and Latinx communities. One of the major challenges with regards to equity and inclusion in the tech space is the concept of the digital divide. This divide illustrates that oftentimes communities of ethnic minorities or communities that are lower income tend to fall behind when it comes to technology proficiency and digital literacy. This leads to lower representation in tech jobs and HCI research. Ultimately, creating technology that is exclusive or even harmful to certain groups. When potential harm to black and brown communities is an afterthought, HCI research is tasked to study how to alleviate harm or expand inclusion after system deployment, considering communities of color after development as opposed to them being considered architects of the initial innovation. Black designers and scholars have begun to explore envisioning technology futures alongside communities of color, collaboratively engaging communities in design at the forefront of concept exploration instead of after an innovation has proven harmful. Projects like 51 Futures and the PAC project by Stephanie Dinkins highlight the importance of engaging the Black community in technological design. In order to consider technology futures that are architected directly from black and brown communities, we must consider how we engage black and brown communities in speculating futures of technology or even community. Through a series of speculative co-design workshops, we explored how we might construct more inclusive design fictions that speculated the future of technology considering black and brown current realities. Speculative design is discussed across HCI as an inclusive method to consider technology futures, yet identities such as class, race, or education are oftentimes not considered. Looking to Afrofuturism as a framework may motivate inclusive and impactful design fictions and scenarios. Compared to traditional speculative design approaches, Afrofuturism provides a more empathetic design engagement, yet is relatively absent in HCI literature. So we worked with a local arts engine on the south side of Chicago through its design apprenticeship program to design these workshops and identify youth that might be interested in learning more about design. Six Black and Hispanic youth that were already enrolled in the design apprenticeship program participated in remote co-design workshops during the summer of 2020. Having these workshops held over Zoom allowed us to examine remote and virtual approaches to co-design as a way to expand access to design. At the onset of our co-design workshop series, we used episodes of the TV show Black Mirror to elicit conversations about speculative design and dystopian futures. We also developed a design workbook with staff of the program to introduce students to design concepts and terms, illustrate examples of various speculative design activities, and provide space for concept generation. Youth were asked to think about a utopian future for themselves as well as for the city of Chicago. And using this guidebook, we walk students through ideation, storyboarding, and design fictions. So from the early parts of our workshops, youth identified that some of the elements that contributed to dystopian realities in the context of their personal lives and environment were things like unfair housing practices, non-livable wages, racism, and bigotry. When identifying what a utopia looked like for them, much of it centered on fair treatment in society. We found that even in being prompted to envision the future with no bounds, DAP students could not detach constructs of racism or poverty from future realities. We also found that in using Afrofuturism as a framework, students designed fictions and storyboards focused on addressing how black and brown communities could create their own solutions to societal conditions. Youth were able to build onto each other's fictions and center themselves as the technologists, scientists, and governmental leaders. Students commented on how Afrofuturism allowed them to see themselves in the design of futures. This work allows us to consider several implications for speculative co-design. Number one, there is merit in Afrofuturism as a lens for speculating future technologies. Number two, um, there are benefits to having various design fiction probes, such as Black Mirror and the design workbook. And then number three, the value of the design workbook itself and providing space and flexibility for students to navigate um, being a part of co-design while also juggling family work and other things. Thank you.